So I have to explain this, but the reason that the video came later than usual was because Toho blocked it in every single country, so part one came out yesterday, and it was supposed to come out Friday. This one's going to come out Friday, and this is going to be number four through one, and I'm sorry to split into two parts, it's because... Friggin' the video was already 12 minutes long and I didn't want to go over that, so let's get on to the list. And also, if you can't tell, I don't feel very good, so I sound horrible. So really, let's now get on to the list. Okay, now to start off this list, we're going on with another Heisei film, and that's gonna be Godzilla vs. Biollante. This is quite possibly my favorite Godzilla design out of all the movies, and it's probably one of the best enemies that Godzilla has ever fought. Biollante, you can tell they had trouble using this costume thing because apparently they had to use like 12 people just to make this thing move. Because this thing apparently was like 10 feet tall in real life, which that's insane. <laughs> this is also a kind of a weird film because this movie wasn't even made originally by Toho because the writer of the story won a contest by Toho to write to create a monster for the new Godzilla movie and he came up with Biollante so this isn't even really Toho's original monster this is this random guys who won a contest and it's really weird there's like some parts of tentacles and it's like Japan <laughs> and everything in this movie is just fun it's just a really fun 80s movie it's like the people side of the movie is kind of like a James Bond movie that's how I describe it. And the action in this movie is some of the best in the series. Now let's go on to the next film. This is the movie that started it all. Gojira. Or also known in America as Godzilla, King of the Monsters. This is the saddest Godzilla movie possibly ever made there's metaphors for the atomic bomb which this is the movie that started that because this is literally the first Godzilla movie and you can tell this is like post Hiroshima Japan just a few years after because it's the destruction is apparently made to look exactly like it and it's insane and it's really sad it's one of the saddest movies you're ever gonna see in the Godzilla franchise. It's very short, I think. It feels short. Um, the acting is great. Everything about this movie is great. It has the classic, classic Godzilla march thing. Everything about this movie just screams classic movie. And Ishiro Honda was somebody who survived Hiroshima, who Ishiro Honda is the director of this film. So, that shows that this is coming close to his heart, because this movie is kind of about something that he lived through, because Godzilla represents the atomic bomb. So, basically, this is supposed to represent what we did to Japan. So, yeah. Yeah. Not a very happy movie at all. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a happy movie, but it's really good. One of the best. Now let's get on with the next one. Now some of you might be saying, why did I pick GMK over um, Gojira? And that was because everything that Gojira did right, and all the other films did right, except for number one, it did better. It did everything better. The characters, some of the best characters, and just in any of these films and acting is probably the best in the Godzilla series even better than the number one spot but acting is not a major wager in a Godzilla film and the Godzilla scenes are just amazing amazing the only problem is Godzilla's design but that's okay and Godzilla is finally a villain again hey, this and Gojira are one of the few films where Godzilla is actually the villain even though this is technically a direct sequel to Gojira this is better in every way than Gojira. It is some of the, it's one of the darker films. It still has the nuclear bomb allegory, which most films got rid of for a more kid-friendly tone. And this one is just action-packed. It's not very slow. It's 
every monster all out attack, as it says in the trailer. Because it has King Ghidorah, Mothra, Baragon, and Godzilla all fighting in one movie, and it's insane. This, this is some of the best miniatures in any of the Godzilla films, and it is... The only weird part about it is that King Ghidorah is a good guy, and it's like, why is King Ghidorah a good guy? Nobody, nobody believes that. Nobody believes that King Ghidorah is a good guy! And it is... But besides that, it's really good. It's one of the best ones. This is better than all of the films except for one. Except for one. This, by a movie standpoint, is one of my favorites. It's one of the best Godzilla scenes in all of the cinema history. And it is one of the best, <laughs> some of the best, just everything all around. It's, it works. The story's good. The dubbing is not the worst. Dubbing can be really horrible. This one's actually pretty fine with its dubbing. And you can tell that everybody's tried really hard on this movie. But before we get to number one, we have to go through some honorable mentions. So for the first honorable mention I went was Shin Godzilla because Shin Godzilla is really good. It was just too slow in the first half for it to be on the list. So that's why it's only an honorable mention and also some of the scenes go on for way too long. But everything in this movie besides that is great. That's like the only reasons why it didn't make it on the list. And then for the second honorable mention I went with Godzilla 2014. Great movie, the acting was just a little slow and they focused too much on the human characters sometimes. So some of it was pretty boring and they showed more of the Mutos than they showed Godzilla. So that's why it's only an only honorable mention, now let's get on to number one. Now some of you might be saying, Aiden, what can possibly beat Gojira and GMK? Well, quite frankly, the monster that beat Godzilla himself. This film caused widespread controversy as soon as it came out because Godzilla dies in this movie. This thing defeats Godzilla and kills him. It has to, the son of Godzilla has to defeat him because Godzilla blows up in this movie. So this movie got news anchors across the world to cover it. Godzilla's final fight will be a memorable one. May Lee reports. Because Godzilla dies. And that's insane. They kill off the king of the monsters in this film. This movie probably caused many people to be sad. I, I was sad when I saw it originally when I was younger. It was, it's a masterpiece. It's the best Godzilla film ever made and probably ever will be made. It's just that amazing. You have to watch it yourself to understand how good it is. And when a monster can defeat Godzilla, you know we are all screwed. Now this has been ABA Short Films, and have a great day.